welcome to yet another episode in this episode i want to talk to you about sleep deprivation so what is sleep deprivation and then what are some of the causes of sleep deprivation what are some of the symptoms of sleep deprivation and also how does depriving of us ourselves of sleep affect our health and our body don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to this channel so what is sleep deprivation so as an adult it is expected that you sleep between seven and eight hours every night if you are not getting this hours of sleep that it means that you are depriving yourself of sleep what are some of the you know symptoms that will make you know that you are depriving yourself of sleep number one is fatigue if you wake up feeling very tired then it is possible that you didn't get the right amount of sleep or you are depriving yourself of sleep you become irritable during the day you become so angry the least thing you are angry can also be a symptom that you are depriving yourself of sleep when you wake up having a lot of mood changes being very sad or being very happy you know this kind of mood changes or mood swings can also be an indication that you have deprived yourself of sleep if you have difficulty focusing and remembering after you wake up you know if you want to focus on a task if you want to remember something you are struggling then it means that probably you are depriving yourself of the right amounts of sleep when you're sleeping between seven to eight hours at night you may also have a reduced cell drive or a low cell drive if you deprive yourself of sleep so the question is this that if we are depriving ourselves of the sleep that we need to get at night between seven to eight hours at night how does this affect our body or how does this affect our health the first thing i want to talk about is that if you deprive yourself of sleep at night consistently it will impact on your immune system so instead of your immune system being stronger it becomes rather weaker another effect that depriving yourself of sleep can bring is gaining weight so for most people the weight that they are gaining is because they are not sleeping within the seven to eight hour you know time limit which they have to get at night so if you are gaining too much weight consider sleeping seven to eight hours and you will see remarkable results in terms of reduce or reduction in your weight if you deprive yourself of sleep you may also have cardiovascular problems problems with your heart because sleep is actually a healer for the heart and if you deprive yourself then you are disturbing your heart sleep deprivation can also affect your brain you see during sleep the brain consolidates our memories so one part of our brain that sleep deprivation affect is the prefrontal cortex which is responsible for thinking for reasoning another part of the brain that sleep or deprivation can also affect is the amygdala which deals with our emotion that is why when you don't sleep enough at night you wake up and your mood your feelings are very bad sleep deprivation has also been shown to cause some problems when it comes to fertility okay because poor sleep can affect the production of hormones that boost your fertility so these are some of the effects of uh, sleep deprivation it can also lead to increased risk of accident because you drive with your brain and if you don't sleep well you know you don't get the right amount of sleep your brain is impacted it means that you cannot pay attention when you are driving you cannot re react quickly when there's about to be an accident whilst you drive you cannot make decisions driving comes with decision making so sleep deprivation can also increase your risk of accident so quite a number of accidents that we have on our roads is because drivers are not getting enough sleep at night they wake up in the night to work and also work in the day and that is why they are having a lot of accident sleep deprivation long term you know in the long term if you are not sleeping between the seven to eight hour you know limit in the night it can lead to high blood pressure it can be a risk factor for developing high blood pressure we have to check this because if all we need to prevent you know high blood pressure is by having adequate amount of sleep between seven to eight hours at night easy solution for us let's get the right amount of sleep and then prevent high blood pressure sleep deprivation in the long term can also lead to diabetes type 2 diabetes so gaining excess weight is one of the risk factors for type 2 diabetes also 
if you are not sleeping it means that you know your body is under stress and then you gain more weight and when you gain more weight your risk of developing diabetes becomes higher long term uh, not getting the right amount of sleep can also make you gain excess weight we've said that already heart attack you know stroke depriving yourself of sleep can also make you so depressed and anxious so if you are depressed make sure you are getting the right amount of sleep some people will develop psychosis that they, they, they lose their sense of touch with reality so if you become psychotic one of the reasons why or the root cause of why people become psychotic is that they are not for a long time they are not sleeping or getting the required amount of sleep and that is very important for us today so what are some of the things that will cause us you know to sh- uh, not get the right amount of sleep at night if you are working in a shift work system you know if you have to work at night definitely you cannot get the right amount of sleep meeting deadlines sometimes we have deadlines that we don't want to skip so then we have to spend our night working and that is why we we would deprive ourselves of sleep when you sleep in an environment that is noisy or you live in an area that is very noisy it's also difficult for you to have this seven to eight hours of sleep at night using electronic devices at bedtime these days what is preventing us from getting the adequate amount of sleep is our phones we go to bed with them and then they will keep us awake you know other reasons why we cannot sleep as we should is uh, medical problems such as depression, anxiety, stress, and also chronic pain. Right? So, other things that can disrupt our sleep or prevent us from sleeping depression, anxiety, bipolar, gaining excessive weight, abusing substances, or getting addicted to excessive alcohol intake and smoking. So, these are some of the causes for why we deprive ourselves of sleep. And what I've said earlier was some of the effects of, you know, sleep deprivation on us, affecting our brain, affecting our immune system, and so on and so forth. Comment at the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Like and share this video to someone to help them improve their sleep quality. If you want to learn how to sleep better, check my previous video on how to sleep better. I'll see you in the next video.